We are here in Finland and we have an application here, B2 Phone, a high quality ECG, which is going to be medical certific uh, certified. Let's see what this uh, application costs and what the benefits are for the patient and for the healthcare system. So what stage is this uh, uh, B2 Phone? Uh, what stage is this B2 Phone uh, in? Well, the B2 Phone is now uh, in the, in the, in the going to get the medical approval so that it can be sold to medical professionals and it will be man mass manufactured by the second half of this uh, year. Okay. And is there next to the, uh, the high quality ECG, is there also a an, uh, an, an web-based service behind it or are you integrating with all the classical um, hospital systems and, and healthcare provider systems? Well, currently the data goes from the phone to a cloud service where it can be analyzed and then it can be read by the medical professionals, doctor or nurses. You also get a whole bunch of big data uh, out of that. Are you also going to give advice, analyze the ECG, and then basically say, hey, you know, there's the, you have this, this problem and, uh, and, and you have this kind of protection? Yes, that's the uh, area where we are going. So in, the, in a couple of years, we will have also more parameters so we can really predict the health state of an individual remotely. Um, what is the cost of this uh, device going to be? So it's a Bluetooth, uh, it's a Bluetooth uh, heart meter, and then the app. Uh, how are you going to sell that? Well, it's an ECG monitor. It's not a heart rate uh, monitor. The current pricing is uh, 350 for the unit. Plus, then once we have uh, more analytics on top of that, there will be some kind of service charge on top of that. So, Timo Vapula, you are the, um, the inventor. How long have you been working on this? Uh, about five years. Okay. What, what is different and what did you do to get this medically approved and to, uh, on, on your phone? No, well, all the technically it's uh, better, better easy than clinically needed. I would think uh, noise ratio is ten times better than needed. And also the uh, uh, sampling fre frequency is better than needed. So here we have the Bluetooth um, uh, indicator. I mean, I've been using it, and I use you use it around your around uh, your breast. So this looks very familiar. I have a thing like this when I basically do my running. Yeah, that's right. It looks similar, but it's much more advanced. Uh -huh. You get the ECG, but of course you can use this also as a, a heart rate sensor. I I'm using when I, when I'm jogging or biking. Yeah, but the difference is the accuracy, and it's much more uh, accurate, and it's and a lot of more data, clinically valid data from ECG and automatic analysis of the ECG. Okay. The next phase you were talking about, about 2018, what is the difference then? Uh, then we have uh, more, more signals, uh, uh, blood, blood pressure, oxygen saturation, respiration rate, uh, thoracic uh, impedance and what else, uh, skin temperature. How are you going to market this? Uh, which countries are you going to target? Well, obviously we come from Finland, so the first market will be the university hospitals in Finland. Then the next phase will be um, in the UK. So going to get the NHS hospitals interested in this. Yeah, to be approved is essential for this tool. Of course, be, uh, we have to have the medical approval. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, kind of, it's hard and it's costly, but eventually it's actually that's the way to get doctors convinced. That's true. Now, do you need to be convinced in every country, or can you go to one European country, be approved, and then you're automatically approved for Europe? Yes, the me medical CE approval in, in Europe, uh, that applies for all the European countries. When you expect that to have? That will be done uh, during the third ha half of this year. Good luck. Thank you.